Hello, YouTube viewers. This is Blake Fennon. Listen, I don't know about you, but when I was younger, when I was in late mi 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 middle school, early high school, when I would read that, that when I would when I would hear or re read about, but but blasphemy, which which the Bible clearly says is the only unforgivable sin according to the Bible bless, blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is the only unforgivable sin but when I was in late middle school early high school I didn't catch that part I hadn't read that part yet about the about b b blasphemy of the Holy Spirit being the only unforgivable sin I my uh, understanding of it was if if you blaspheme Jesus or the Holy Spirit you will not be forgiven I I always understood it to say if you if you blaspheme or mock Jesus and the Holy Spirit you will not be forgiven in this world or the world to come well listen several years later but but this was about either right before or or right after I got out of high school I I I first read it now I, I have read it I've read this passage several times since obviously but I found this passage right before or right after my high school graduation if you if you only blaspheme the holy spirit and no one else you cannot be forgiven if you blaspheme jesus you can be forgiven but listen when i was when as i, I repeat as i said when i was younger i thought if you blasphemed Jesus and the whole Holy Spirit. I heard if you bless, I, I thought if you blaspheme either one of them, you couldn't be forgiven. But now I understand. I understand because I have read this passage several times. If you blaspheme the Holy Spirit and, and Him alone, you will never be forgiven in this world or the world to come but listen after 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 you sin in any other way when you sin in any other shape form or fashion when you do anything wrong other than blaspheming the spirit when you do anything wrong other than making fun of the holy spirit once you confess that you have sinned and done wrong and and say that you're sorry for for doing anything bad or for doing anything that you said you i mean that you said or done that you shouldn't have once you say you're sorry once you tell the lord you're you're sorry for doing anything else that you said or done that you shouldn't have said or done you are forgiven because the first letter of John, chapter one, verse nine, says, "If if you confess our if you confess your sins, your if we confess our sins, we are he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. If you if you tell the Lord your your sorry, he is faithful and just to forgive us of all unrighteousness. If you say." Jesus, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. He will forgive you, and he won't be mad at you any, anymore. He loves you. He loves you so much. Or if you tell the heavenly Father you're, you're, you're sorry for all that you've done wrong, say, say, heavenly Father, I'm, I'm sorry for all that I've done. That's wrong, mean. Or, or bad I ask you to forgive me and and help me to forgive others 
I ask this in 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 Jesus name YouTube viewers friends everyone if no matter who you are if you'll just do that trust me Jesus and our Heavenly Father they will both forgive you for anything you've done other than making fun of the Holy Spirit they 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 love you they love you so much now please 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 parents share this video with your children that's why I have talked simply in in simple words and terms so you your kids can can he hear this video and understand what I mean but listen parents please do me a favor please show your kids 1 John 1 9 and and t tell them what it means thank you please like share and subscribe and I ap appreciate that